Did you know what the number one pink salmon lure that's ever been made? It's gotta be the buzz bomb. Yes, we're talking buzz bombs and pink salmon and how effective they truly can be. I'm gonna go through what they are, how to set them up, and how to do a little couple tricks that'll help you, whether you're a bank fisherman off the beaches or you're out of a boat. The buzz bomb truly is one of the most versatile lures to go catch a pink salmon right now on our odd years. So check this out. That's what's up. If you've been around salmon fishing in the Northwest in particular, you've heard of this lure. The buzz bomb has been around forever and rightfully so, as it's one of the most productive lures to have in your arsenal. As a bank fisherman, especially for myself growing up, I used to only fish these. All you needed for pink salmon especially. So I wanted to cover this because right now, literally right now, it is time to be using these off the shore. And there's a couple ways you can go about doing it to set them up that'll maximize your success. So I really want you guys to pay attention because I wanna help you catch more fish and bring home some awesome stuff for the dinner table. So buzz bombs, what makes them unique is their shape, right? We'll open this up. And I will specifically show you the good old standard pink buzz bomb. Nothing too crazy, but this pyramid shape with a fatter end up top and a tapered end at the bottom, they have instructions on which way the hooks go right the hook is supposed to go out of the bottom here allowing this lure as you jig it in the water it flutters on the retrieve down that motion the up and down jigging motion will attract your salmon these work phenomenally off the beaches for pink salmon for the reason that you can cast these a mile and retrieve them back but you're able to get to the fish with a short close or further out and then dependent on how much you let this lure sink you can pick them off in the different water columns which again is a versatile component as a boat fisherman as well you can cast two schools that you see jumping around you can even vertically jig these um, over schools you may see suspended in the water column so a lure like this has honestly been something i have been so excited over the years just to continue to learn how to do it better and better because there is technique involved in the actual fishing of them and i can go into that more in another video but the actual buzz bomb itself deserves this time of the year especially on pink salmon runs to be brought up and mentioned of how deadly effective this is because a couple quick rigging tips and you can be on the water fishing these right away so the first thing I honestly want to say is that you got to have the right kind of setup to maximize this. Now for pink salmon, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Truly a decent rod that can hold the weight because these are two ounces. And so these things do have a little bit of weight to them. So I run a eight foot six rod, allowing myself to about 12 to 15 pound test line off the beaches. Um, and that gives me enough comfortability to be able to really throw those out there and then have the efficiency to bring them on the retrieves back in. I know that I have enough power behind that rod if I need to hook a bigger fish, but pink salmon are not gonna challenge you too much necessarily on your gear. So just having yourself set up appropriately is really gonna help you get more bites. Now, what's awesome, right, in when you open up that pack, just like I did, it comes with a treble hook and it comes with a little rubber disc. That rubber disc stopper really helps for the knot, right? And you rig it up on the line so it's free sliding and that rubber stopper goes right to the edge of the hook. Now what you see here is one of our Buzz Bomb Beach Slayer rigs. And if you want those, I'll link them below. But, um, I tie these up specifically ahead of time with a swivel and have everything ready because this is going to free slide on your line as you are retrieving this in the water column. So having a good swivel 
helps a lot for the line twist component, but I incorporate a swivel as well onto the siwash hook. So when that fish hooks up, he cannot spin away and he's going to be there regardless of what I do. So I rig up two ways. One, as you see with the hoochie skirt and one where I do not have the hoochie skirt and it's just a siwash hook on a swivel because the biggest component I see a lot of people losing fish over is they hook up that fish is got just a siwash hook or a single hook and it leverages a turn and pops that barbless hook right out. So that swivel really helps when you get it in the side of the mouth that they cannot leverage against that. That swivel helps turn, that fish is yours. So what's cool is, again, that's just with a single pack. Now, Buzz Bomb has been smart in the way that they've done things. You can also get these in a three pack. It comes with three hooks, three spacers, and you're ready to go. Truly, you don't need anything else fishing off the beaches for pink salmon. Um, the pink color is by far obviously the most popular. Um, I really like comparing contrasts. I got Hypervis tape on our Beach Slayer Buzz Bombs with a little white hoochie skirt really helps to give that contrast. But Buzz Bomb also has some other really cool colors. You get into the UV series where there's, you know, chartreuse, blue, there's green, and even hot red tips with a different top end. Those white colors especially can really, I would say, honestly, draw in more strikes is the right wording. You can get more fish changing up just slightly um, in the color because you go out pink salmon fishing right now, you're going to have 5,000 of your closest friends staying shoulder to shoulder. And rightfully so because the fish are everywhere. But pink may not necessarily always be the hottest color. So I carry a couple different colors and I have them all pre-rigged so I'm ready to rock and roll. And once you have yourself all set up for that, then you can start talking the retrieve. And